<laughs> I really don't think that anyone should ever vlog at this time in the morning. But I have to, because I have no other option. Well, like, so, vlog number two. I did it, guys. I hope you're proud of me. I hope you like it. I haven't even literally been able to... It, I had to upload it overnight. It took hours um, and I woke up this morning and I saw that it's uploaded but I haven't even had a chance to look if anyone has said anything <laughs> but I hope you like it. Today is actually day number three because um yeah I didn't vlog yesterday because I can't I can't do daily vlogs this is just ridiculous this is so much work like where do you have fun in between? So anyway this is day number three and today is a very exciting day. We are going searching for dugons, AKA sea cows, AKA something I have never seen before. And I always see photos and videos of dugons. And I'm like, this is what I want to see. I want to see these guys. So today, like massive fingers crossed. If I don't see them, I don't think I'll even bother making this vlog because <laughs> I'll be so disappointed. So hopefully this vlog gets seen, hey? I haven't been able to wash my hair for four days because I didn't bring shampoo and the hotel doesn't have shampoo, which I find really weird. And you can't really see. Well, yeah, you can, look. Like, you could actually season like a kilo of fries with the amount of salt <laughs> that is in my hair. I can, I can nearly snap it off. It is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Hello. This is the main man, Mormon. It's been Mormon. <laughs> right, where are we going today? <laughs> we go to Tomar Samubarak. We would look. We would like to show Zico and Turtles. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Just got back from the dive and I saw a dugong. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's such a cool story. Like we were um, looking for like, was it like an hour and a half? We were just diving, it was like five meters. So it was absolutely fine. Um, and we were looking for absolutely ages and we gave up actually, but there was like something inside me. I was like, I don't want to give up. Like we don't want to give up just yet. Wait, I'm going to change the, so you can actually see, there you go. Um, and we started going into the shore and I was like, oh, like my buddies had already gone. So I was kind of like, all right, okay, I'll go. One last thing before I go, I will just clean my mask. I literally grabbed my mask and literally just put it on my face and looked down just to clear it. As I looked down, there he is, just underneath me, right behind me, just like so majestic, like just slowly swimming past and I was like oh my god guys it's here it's here it's here like shouting as much as I could so I descend back down and um, I follow him and I get to dive with him like for 10 minutes while got, like, everyone else was a little bit further behind so I got like the, this like incredible like moment of just like me and the sea cow and I could look right into his eyes and oh it was such a humbling experience. Unfortunately, Greg wasn't with me because he was back at the shore at this point. Um, so he didn't get to experience that kind of, that moment that I did, but eventually he came back um, and a lot of other snorkelers came back and it got kind of crowded. Um, and I felt like I'd had my time and I was like super, super happy. So I left and now I'm just like super high on life. It was such a great experience. I've never ever, ever swam with them before and I never even really thought I would and I did have expectations for today which I know I shouldn't have but I'm so so happy that we got to see it. The day is over, day three is over. Kind of managed to wash my hair a little bit, it looks a little bit better. So um, Greg and I are just gonna try and get some good sunset photos. Apparently we're in an abandoned <laughs> dive centre. What? What? <laughs> Which is pretty cool, it's like derelict. Um, so look at the sun already. Let's try and get some good photos. <laughs> 